Hello, yes, I have a blemish on my face. Let's just get that out of the way. Right there, it is what it is. These things happen. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm in my kitchen. It is a much quieter week. Let me update you as to what's going on. So Molly is overseas and Gabe is working every day because he's going on his Florida trip, which I've mentioned on Instagram because he got some new shirts from a company. So he's working every day. He's actually working a 12 hour shift today because they offered to pay him overtime. Maddie is working and Hannah is just back to school. So all the kids are not here anymore. So it's much quieter. I mean, Hannah's here, but not really. She's even now she's out with a friend. For Chris and I, we are back to work and we're also trying to do like a low spend January and kind of into the new year. We're just trying to cut our expenses. Like we're not, you know, everything's fine with our jobs and everything, but you never know. And with everything getting so expensive, I mean, I'm not like an alarmist or anything. And I, even I'm like, wow, these prices are high on food. So I'm like, if we can cut back in other areas, that would be great. And in order to do that, this is not sponsored, but I have to tell you about this app that I got. It's called Rocket Money. And Maddie told me about it. She was using it. You do have to connect it to your bank account. So if that concerns you, you know, you wouldn't want to use this. But I was like, it uses really good encryption. So I felt okay using it. But anyway, it tracks all of your expenses. It allows you to set budgets. It's great. It's been so great. I've been using it for about 10 days. Love the thing very much. Highly recommend it. Um, if it's something that you're looking to do, like tracking your expenses and kind of getting a handle on what you spend, it's a great way to do it. So anyway, through that app, I'm not going to talk numbers specifically, but we found out, figured out that we have been spending way more money than we thought eating out. But I don't mean we're not going to fancy dinners. It's like, you know, Chipotle here and Jimmy John's, which is subs here and Oh, let's get Culver's, which is a burger joint. You know, so all these different things and they just add up and add up. And I was just like, <gasps> when I saw the number, oh my goodness. And I had Hannah and Chris both like make guesses about what they thought that we might be spending and they were both really low. So that was funny and eye-opening, but Rocket Money has totally helped me to get a handle on my finances. I don't know if I've mentioned this. We wanna put flooring in the family room. There's white carpeting in there which we do our best to keep it clean. And we have a carpet cleaner and Chris cleans it like once a week, but with the dog and an old dog, you can imagine it just, you know, it needs to be replaced. And with my allergies, we really want to put in flooring, but flooring has gone through the roof, but we're going to need to do it. Uh, so I'm like, man, if we just like don't eat out for a few months, we'll easily have the money to do the floor. So that's what we're working on saving for right now is just having the cash to put in flooring in the family room. And it will be possible if we just don't eat out. <laughs> so I can be accountable to you on that. We're doing well so far. Anyway, that's all I'll say about that. Um, if you're interested, look up Rocket Money. Again, I'm not sponsored at all. It's just something that I got for myself. Another thing that we're trying to do is not waste any food. So this month we've been working through our pantry. And so like really trying to get kind of down to the bottom of our pantry so that then we'll do a restock, but just so th stuff doesn't get old and like not used. And then also using leftovers. And so along those lines, I'll show you what I made tonight. We actually showed you how we made it. It's the same breakfast casserole. I have no problem doing breakfast for dinner. When we had no money, which was like 10 years ago, we had no money. We had four small children. I was in school. Chris was had a job that didn't pay a lot. And so we had no money. <laughs> And we would do breakfast for dinner often because it was cheap. Now, eggs are no longer cheap, unfortunately. Um, they're obscenely expensive right now. But back in the day, eggs were a cheap way to eat dinner. And so we got used to this idea of like breakfast for dinner. So that's what I did tonight. I did use six, six or eight eggs. And I used 399 was the sausage. But then the key here is that we had four large baked potatoes because we do baked potato bar one night a week, which I think I've mentioned that before. And this week we had extra potatoes. So I made this breakfast casserole, but instead of using the hash browns like we showed you in our Christmas video, I used baked potatoes. So I took the skins off and chopped, cubed them and did the eggs. And then this time, instead of bacon, we used sausage. So I will show you that in a minute. Um, that's all our updates. That's what's going on in our household. Uh, and yeah, I'll show you that recipe and then we'll go along with the vlog. Okay, here it is made with the sausage. It looks delicious. 
I'm really excited to try it. So Chris is hungry and a little, he's ready. He's ready. He, I was like, wait, I have to film it. He's like, ah, oh. <laughs> so we're going to go and eat. Um, All right. So some updates, Gabe is going to Florida. I mentioned that he is off and on his way on a plane. Sorry, closing cabinets. And Maddie and her beau, Devin, are coming over for lunch. So I've made a new soup recipe. It's called Old Fashioned Beef and Rice Soup. It's by a blog called Wabi Sabi. If it's good, I'll link it down below. So I made that. We'll be back here in a few minutes and then we'll see what else we do today. I figured I should show the recipe. Well, I mean, this is it so far. So basically this is beef broth. And then in here is um, carrot, celery, and onion, diced pretty small though. And then you add ground beef. Oh, and there's rice in here, which is cooking. Um, and you add ground beef to it. So the lady said it's kind of like a cowboy soup. So it's meant to be like a hearty meal. And I got a loaf of bread. So hopefully that'll be a nice lunch. Okay, I told you Maddie was coming for lunch. The soup was good, although I burned my tongue on it. It was extraordinarily hot. But Maddie is going to take some of the extra Valentine decor that I have. Yes. She's going to show you what she's taking and where she's going to put it. So I have this sign. It's going to go right outside my bathroom where I have my greenery for Christmas. This one's going to go on the front door, which currently has a sign on it that says, let it snow. Nice. This is my favorite. That's one I made. Love letters. So cute. I'm glad Just you like it. This. Yeah, that's it's. It had a, a pedestal, which came off. I told her I could reattach it, but she's just going to set it down. And this is a little, like, greenery gift box. Yep. This one's going to go on my TV stand. Cute. Because um, I use that kind of like a mantle. Uh-huh. This will go in my bathroom. I currently have a sign that has a truck with a Christmas tree in it. Nice. So this will be a, a matching replacement. Yep. yep. And then I'm taking Minnie and Mickey. I did not put these out this year because I was afraid Penny will destroy them. I'm pretty sure she would destroy them. Cute. Good, good. I'm so glad you can make use of some stuff, Matt. I'm so glad that I have some stuff to make use of. Also, I accidentally ordered the wrong size beef cheeks for Penny. It's enormous, but she doesn't seem to be bothered by it. So, And even little Finley likes the giant beef cheek, right? <laughs> He's like, wait, you said my name. Finley's extremely smart. Like human smart. You should tell them about our issues that we're having. Well, you could tell them. So apparently, Finley thinks she's top dog. And I was told by a trainer yesterday that um, he has no respect for me. <laughs> so that was great news to get. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he has some attitude adjustments that need to be made. <laughs> Look at him turning his face. Like, <laughs> he's fucking <laughs> Yeah, so basically we're, we're working on that. It uh, involves a little bit more of a stern tone of voice when giving him instructions. So he knows that I'm serious. I mean it. Because right now he just thinks it's all a game. He's so cute though. Yeah. Look at his little freckles. Oh my Maybe. goodness. Can I have a kiss? He's like, no, you were just talking about me. I'm mad now. Nope. Chris is cleaning up lunch. You're Thanks, wondering. Man. Thanks, Chris. Okay, the next part of the vlog is going to be a behind the curtain segment. <laughs> so everyone on YouTube, it seems, has a lovely laundry room because they have newer homes and their laundry rooms don't have their furnace and their old laundry sink and their water softener that's no longer hooked up and their water heater in it. They have like laundry rooms that are just laundry rooms and maybe it's even on the first floor and... <laughs> That's not the case. I live in a split level and it was built in the late 80s. And if you're familiar with split levels built in the late 80s, your laundry room and your utility room are one. And you can do things to them to make them nicer. But you know what? That hasn't been on the priority list. So <laughs> I'm going to take down the veil and show you our ugly laundry room. But the reason is that that's where my like over, not, not over my like stockpile pantry is. And in January, we always do like a live out of the pantry month. Some people don't like to do that. They don't like to like get down in the, you know, to the bottom of their pantry. 
Um, but I always like, this is what I've done every year. So I'm going to go show you the pantry. We're going to go through, see what I need to get once February 1st hits and once it's time to stock up. So that's what we're going to do. So first on the agenda is to see that not everyone on YouTube has a lovely laundry room. I am one person that does not. And second, let's go assess the pantry situation. Okay, here we go. I haven't looked in here, so <laughs> I don't know the state of things right now. It's dark. Oh, there's some stuff drying. Okay, full disclosure, Chris does our laundry. Not me. Chris likes to do the laundry. So there you go. We don't dry a lot of our clothes. Like we'll dry towels and things, but we hang a lot of the clothes. Hold on a second. So this is my ugly laundry room. It has a new window that was put in a few years ago now. There's my laundry sink. Again, I really don't do a lot down here. Uh, I deal with the pantry though. So I'm gonna set the camera up so that we can see the pantry. I have to move some of the clothes that are hanging on it. Hold on a second. Okay, so the lighting's not great because again, it's the laundry room, but that's okay. So up top, I usually keep Hannah's snacks for school. That is running low. I have some steel cut oats. I'm guessing these are gonna be past date, but I'll probably still use them. But I just wanna get a handle on everything that's in here. Oh no, these are good till September, 2023. So these can stay. And let's see, and then I have, I do eat a lot of oatmeal and I use it in baking. Uh, this is definitely past date. Okay, Hannah just knocked because she needed some laundry out of the dryer. She does her own laundry, by the way. So Chris does my laundry and his laundry and Hannah does her own laundry. So the oats are best by February, 2022. Whoopsie daisy, but I'll probably still use them. This is gonna be stale. This was from the Dollar Tree and we had another box of it and didn't like it. December 2021. <laughs> and then last year when I did this project, I was like, well, maybe we'll still eat it. And then we really just didn't like it. So that is going by oatmeal. Still have some time on that instant oatmeal. I don't eat as much of that, but Gabe likes it. So keep that. I do need some more egg noodles. I keep my egg noodles in here and I'm down to one bag. So I need egg noodles. And I'm going to start a list. I'm going to make a list for like longer term stuff and then more immediate things. So immediate things would be snacks for Hannah. And then on the back, I'll do long term pantry items. So things I don't need like right now, but should get soon um, because I'm running low. So egg noodles. I won't go and buy all of these things all at once. I'll go and like each time maybe buy an extra kind of thing. So I'm gonna say I'd like to have at least, I have one, I'd like to have like six. So six egg noodles. And then I'm, let's check the dates on my chicken broth. Okay, we have some time on these. I'm out of beef broth, I'm out of veggie broth. These are all 2023. I have three boxes of pasta. I'm really down to it. Because again, we've been doing this like live out of the pantry thing for the past, you know, two weeks since the holidays. These are fine. I'd like to have like 10 to 12 boxes of, pa of pasta. So I'm going to put 10. So I'll look for sales on these things that wind up on my long-term list. And then if there's a good sale, I'll go grab a bunch or... I'll just buy a little extra each time. Let's move to the canned goods. My canned goods, here, I can move the camera. They're like almost gone. <laughs> That's it. There might be a can or two of things upstairs, but for the most part, I only have one black bean left. We use black beans every week. Um, these are still fine. I don't use a ton of cream soup, but I like to keep them in case we need them for a recipe. One can of sauerkraut, Best Buy. That is expired. We don't use a lot of sauerkraut, so Rotel, we do use a Rotel. So I'm gonna say I need black beans, low sodium, about 10 cans. And then Rotel, I'd also like Rotel. And then as I get them, say I go and I buy five, I can change the number and then I know, oh no, I still only need five. And then I only have one can of corn left and this is cream style, so I essentially don't have any corn. So canned corn, I also use frozen corn. I actually prefer frozen corn but I'd like to have canned corn on hand. So I'm gonna say five canned corn. Oh, I didn't write down the broth. So I need some veggie broth. I'm gonna say I'd like to have five of those. And chicken broth, I have three. 
Um, and I'm going to be making some, bro wow, bone broth. So I'm just going to say I need two chicken broth. So here's my list so far. We have lots of canned carrots. I don't actually remember why I bought all these. I think I don't really remember, but they're still good. So let's move them up here. And I have one can of yams, which is way past date, October. <laughs> so I lost a can of kraut, lost a can of yams. The mayo should be good. July, 2023. And I'd like to have like two more of those. Oh, baked beans. We like these, but we mostly eat them in the summer. One can, that's fine. I don't need any more of those. I use a lot of the unsweetened um, applesauce. So I only have one package left used by May, 2024. So I'm gonna say I want like four, three more of those. Unsweetened applesauce. And I'll get it from Aldi or Target, whoever has it. Sometimes it's hard to find. Anna loves these um, mashed potatoes. And she'll eat them just as like a, these are really old. January 2021. Look, you're seeing it here for realsies. Probably last year when I did this, it was like, oh, I'll still use those. And then I never did. Marinara sauce. Best if used by February 2025. Got plenty. Of, we use a lot of marinara sauce. But I'd like to have maybe four more of those. And I'm missing Alfredo. We also love Alfredo sauce. And that's also missing. I'd like to have five. And again, these are, this is like my long-term pantry. Like, and then I use out of the pantry and just keep stocking it through the year. So once it's stocked, then I'll just keep restocking it as I use it. And I pretty much stock my pantry, not with weird stuff, but with stuff that we eat regularly. That's just how I do it. So, all right, we've got, yep, some very expired mandarin oranges, December, 2021. Sorry, wasted food. Oh, these are, these have plenty of time. Jelly, jelly looks like, oh, let's see. Oh, oh, pineapple is lost. Pineapple is lost. Okay, but only one can. So that's, you know, that's good. Um, Let's see. We haven't been huge fans of grape jelly. Best Buy 1, 14, 2024. So these are fine. That one is. We're more of a strawberry jelly family. Um, this is probably fine because we go through this a lot. Yep, that's fine. And then apricot, these I, this I use, or sweet orange marmalade and apricot preserves, I use on a little uh, meatball recipe that I cook a lot in the crock pot. Usually in the summer when we're having like gatherings, you know, family gatherings or parties or whatever. So this could be old. Nope, we have time on that. So March 2023. So I got to use that soon. Baking soda, this is... Kind of just for the fridge. 2023, that's fine. Well, let's move our other fruit over here if it's still good. Chris eats these with um, cottage cheese. These are fine because we use them pretty frequently, pretty regularly. Okay, Nutella, we like this. We use that pretty regularly. That's fine, but I don't need to stock up on that. I don't feel, I should probably get some more strawberry preserves because that's what we use but because we have two grape jellies and they're fine for the year i'm just gonna get like two strawberry preserves ranch dressing i go through a lot of it so i just got this one so i would like to get probably four more ranch dressings ranch four and then chris likes um honey mustard he likes it from aldi or he likes it from target it doesn't really matter this is tw um, november 2023 honey mustard probably another three and then I've been wanting a blue cheese. I'm just going to put this down. I'm just going to get one, two. Okay, breadcrumbs. Oops, I bumped the camera. Sorry about that. These are fine. I should have another probably two of those. And onion powder. Okay. Onion powder, garlic powder. These are fine. And then what's this here sauce? November 2023. We're good on that, so probably should have maybe one of those why this this is my son this is gabriel gabriel takes things out of my pantry opens them and leaves them down here it drives me nuts because his bedroom is down here so instead of taking the time to go upstairs he'd rather just snack from my pantry which is terrible but they're still fine i will bring these upstairs they should be in the active pantry okay let's see these are fine i have a cake mix that is really old wow October 2021. That's an oldie. I don't even remember why we bought this. 
Maybe it's like when the pandemic started and I was like, oh my gosh, we need shelf stable cheese or something. I don't, I don't even know. Is it expired? 2022. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah. Um, and I don't feel like we're, you know, in that dire situation anymore. Okay. Lord willing. It's best by 2023. So this is fine. I definitely want, need some log cabin though, because we like to make pancakes. Okay. So I'll add that log cabin. Nothing like running out of syrup when you make pancakes, right? I'm gonna say I need three of those. Okay, and then it looks like down here, I am fine on lentils. Um, I don't even know if these expire, but if they have expiration dates, I'm not gonna worry about it because I feel like beans are just good forever. What are, what's the date on these? Oh, I've got plenty of time to make cookies. What else is in here? Some rice. Oh, brown rice, I didn't even know we had this. Hmm. What's the date on that? January 2023. So we gotta use some brown rice. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs. And is this the same? Best Buy January 2023. Okay. And then down on the bottom bottom, you can't see it, but we have some tea. We're gonna stock up coffee this week because Target is having a sale. All right, I'm gonna bring these upstairs. I'm gonna bring my Ritz upstairs and then I'm gonna get a garbage bag and throw away the stuff that got yucky. All right, I'm back upstairs. This is my list for the long-term pantry. I did also add in grated cheese and mashed potato flakes. So I will work on buying these items over the next few months. And then my short-term items, there's not that many because, you know, we're working through the food that I know that we already have. But then Hen also needs school snacks. I know we need paper towels. There's none down there because that's where we also store our paper goods. And then I know that we're uh, going to need toilet paper in the next week or so. So I put that on there too. I also went into my freezer and kind of assessed what was in there and just some meats that I need to use up. So these are the recipes that I need to make in order to use up pantry items. So I'll be making these in the next few weeks. I've got my crock pot sweet and sour meatballs, brown rice and lentils, turkey loin with brown rice and gravy. I can do that twice because I actually have two turkey loins. Um, zoodles with marinara sauce because I have two frozen bags of zoodles that are going to get too icy. <laughs> I need to use those up. And then pork chili. And I have white beans down there. Even though I don't have black beans, I have white beans so I can soak those and make the pork chili. And then with the oatmeal that I said is past eight, I'm going to make baked oatmeal with apples, which is just a really nice breakfast meal. So anyway, that's how I'm going to use up what's left in the pantry that's getting close to its best by date or that's getting a little too frozen for comfort. <laughs> okay, so that's my pantry inventory for 2023. Thank you to Leanne from Simply Enjoying Life who made a similar video which served as a good reminder to me to get my pantry inventory done. And thanks so much for watching my vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.